with you again Naya, and today, we are going to consider another interesting mod. To do this, we will have to go through this very secret door behind my back, which we saw in the last video. So let's go in. Someone has cloned me and is conducting illegal experiments. What a horror. And what if I'm not me, but my clone? What if I've been dead for a long time? Who and why created this horror? I'll go figure it out. And who to deal with? There's no one here except my clones. Oh, that's where the wallpaper comes off or something. I'm going to take a look. Oh, the wall is gone disappeared this is the technology it won't be easy to compete with them some people in white coats for sure employees of the umbrella corporation or representatives of an extraterrestrial civilization in general are conducting experiments here on people you know although for representatives of extraterrestrial civilizations they have some kind of outdated computers they don't really want to communicate with me. They don't understand Russian or something. There's another room here. Yes, they also conduct experiments on animals. What scoundrels. And now jokes aside, and let's talk seriously. We are considering a mod called Sync Mod or Sync Mod. You will see a link to it in the description of the rabbit. You've seen a lot of things here, but in fact, the mod adds only four things, namely a synchronization core, a treadmill, a shell storage, and a shell constructor. Let's take a look at their crafts. As you can see, crafts are by no means cheap. You will have to go to hell and get diamonds and dig up obsidian. That is absolutely not a cheap mod. Let's look at crafting a treadmill too. Here, that is, as you can see, you will have to tinker. And now let's see why all this was necessary. Now I'm going to go into survival mode and drive myself into conditions of extreme danger. As you saw, I was killed by some kind of horror, but after my death, I moved into my clone. This can be very convenient for those who play in hardcore mode. In my example, I spent two clones. There are eight more left, but in fact, there can be as many of them as you want. Clone cameras can be reused, which I'm going to show you now. So, I go into the camera, and a selection of my clones appears. You can put on any kind of armor on them, as well as place them anywhere on the map. There will be a kind of teleportation. By the way, you can place them even in other worlds. For example, I placed one of the clones in hell. I'm going to move into it now. And so, they flew to my hellish clone. Fly fly, my consciousness is moving, some kind of darkness is coming, and here I am in hell, right in the fortress. As you can see, Li Hong is Jivitz, and all my things that I had prepared in advance for the Infernal Clone are all with me. Very convenient. Very good for those who like to jump a lot at different points. In other words, this is a kind of setup obtained with several points, even with a whole bunch of points. And now we are going to do a reverse teleportation to the ordinary world. We flew, we flew back to my laboratory. And so, this is how we live. And now, I'm going to show you how to create a clone, and why experiments on animals are needed. To begin with, you will have to build a shell constructor, the very device that creates clones. That's what it is. We have a treadmill nearby, and this is where we need animals, namely either dogs or pigs. The first ones, in my opinion, are more aesthetic, but the second ones are much more practical. They are more practical in the sense that, firstly, they are much more common than dogs, and secondly, there are no problems with finding bones and taming and all that, and thirdly, pigs do not teleport after you when you move away for some distance. By the way, as an alternative to a dog, you can use a wild wolf, but, you know, it's not so easy to drag him closer to you. Then. We take the animals on a leash, 
and tie them to the treadmill. We tie it to the treadmill. They start running and generating energy. Okay, doggy. The dog is also going to run. So, everyone ran on the treadmill. And then, we need to donate our DNA. We go and right-click on the camera. You see, it took us a little bit of hearts. That's because, because a part of us has taken away from us. Still here in it, you see. I climbed a little and now our clone begins to grow. And it will take time, so we will speed up this matter a little. While my clone is growing, I'll tell you a little bit about the shell storage chamber, that is, about the storage chamber of your clones. This camera is installed anywhere on the map, in any world of your map. And it is activated by a simple redstone signal, that is in principle. You can activate it with a lever or a red torch, as you like. In the meantime, let's listen to some nice music and see how my clone grows. The clone turned out to be unlike me, but don't worry, it's because I changed the skin. It will become identical when I play it for the first time. So, let's go and see, I'm getting into it now. So, let's fly, let's fly, let's fly. I hope this is the one, yes, here, and now, let's look at me from the outside as I look. You see, my clone has become identical. The second one is not quite ready yet. We launched it later than the first one. But that's how this mod works. I hope you liked it and my video turned out to be useful to you in some way. Put a sing mod on your bills and your ratings for my video. And that's all for today. Until we meet soon, bye bye. Today. Пока!